what's going on everybody so we're back with another review so stick around Today's item that I'm going to be reviewing is the Fire Hiking Ultralight Hot Tent with Stove Jack TP Tent for One Person by Fire Hiking. I purchased this off Amazon. Um, it is under $100. The current list price is $87. It's made out of 66D tear resistant fabric. Uh, the, 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 it weighs 3.48 pounds according to their specs. Comes with a stove jack, YKK zippers, yada 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 yada. It when it's set up, it has a height of 5.2 feet and a diameter, a footprint of 10.5 feet, suitable for one person with a stove or two people. Okay. I saw this on a couple other YouTube channels because I was looking at hot tents. I wanted to get into hot tenting. I wanted to give it a try, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a tent in case I didn't like it. So I decided why not give this cheap tent a try. Now it comes in this bag like a little duffel bag which is real nice made out of the same material as the tent get everything out here okay right. now just feeling the material the material is very much like the material that the helicon tex poncho is made out of you can definitely see the rip stop checker pattern in the fabric let me see if i can get that a little closer you can definitely see that checker pattern and the rip stop the inside of the material has a PU coating and the outside looks like the bare material. Okay. So I'm already impressed by the material. Okay. A separate bag here that has... Oh, there's our center pole. And this is a clear aluminum tubing with shock cord and you just line it up and it goes together. So that looks pretty nice. It actually looks like good quality. Got caps here so it doesn't matter which end you use on the tent and which end you use on the ground. I don't think a bag is really necessary for this but hey whatever. There's another small bag. I suspect these are the tent pegs. Yep. And they are tiny. Holy smokes are these tiny. So there's the tent pegs. There's my hand. Look how tiny those are. Oh my god. Here, let me get a tape measure. Because these things are itty bitty. <laughs> Okay, it looks like from end to end, these are exactly six inches. Yeah, six inches. I'll put the metric measurements below. So, they're pretty small. I do not know if these are going to hold up or if they're even going to work. Because, yeah, if you're hot tent camping, the ground could be frozen. I don't know if these will work out. 
but let's see here how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen steaks and a little carry bag. Okay. What is this? Is this the stove jack? I'm not sure what this is. We're going to find out. Okay. What the heck? What the heck? Um. I'm not sure what the heck this is. There's a spring loaded valve right there. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like an inflatable. I bet, yeah, okay. I did remember somebody saying that they got a free gift with an inflatable pillow. All right, well, there you go. You get an inflatable pillow. Although, I never use inflatables in the field because everyone I've ever tried, next thing you know, they got holes and it's just not worth the hassle. If I want a pillow, I will have an extra blanket with me and that will be my pillow. So this is gonna go right back in that bag and probably never see daylight ever again. <laughs> crazy pillow of all dang things. Alright. I'll get that back together later. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so there's the cords, the tie-outs. They've got that reflective material in them. So I guess that's good. And it looks like we got reflective material on this part of the tent for the tie-outs. Oh, there's the peak. There's the very top of the tent. What I'm looking for is I want to see the stove jack. And then we're going to roll this back up. Ah, there it is. So here's the stove jack. Let's take a look at it. It's supposed to be a pretty decent quality. So we're about to find out. Oh wow. Okay. That actually feels really thick. Wow. Where is that tape measure I just had? So there's the stove jack. Let's see how big overall this whole thing is. So looks like nine and a half by nine and a half inches so that's the size of the square the hole looks like roughly three and three quarter three and three quarter well my stove pipe for the stove I got the winter well is two and a half so I have plenty of wiggle room there that is cool I guess well, there's the, uh, the whole thing if that rolls up oh yeah look okay so there's a toggle in here and an opposite piece here so you can roll this up that's cool all right I'm gonna put this back together and put this back in the bag because we need to go outside and set this up and see what it looks like but before I do that I just want to say that if it turns out I don't like this or anything I'm gonna get rid of this tent not saying I, I'm not jumping ahead or nothing but uh, that was the whole purpose of buying a cheaper tent all right let me get this packed back up and we will uh, head on outside. So I got the fire hiking hot tent, teepee tent, set up here in the back. And uh, it went up really easy. My only complaint so far are the tent stakes. I think they're too small 
in two weeks because right now it's 40 degrees out and even though I stake these out at a 45 this one's standing almost at a 90 degree so in soft ground they're just not they're just not big enough in frozen ground I think I think they would uh, bend pretty easy but the size of the tent is acceptable it up here for a one person or two people if they're super super comfortable with each other I could see it so uh, let's go inside so we're inside the tent now I'm kneeling down here I still got a decent amount of headroom let me show you okay, I can reach almost to the very top there's enough floor space in here I'm kneeling basically where the uh, right behind my head that's the stove jack so the stove would be right here so sleeping area would be here and you could maybe get another person where I got the camera tripod maybe it'd be tough overall for one person with gear I think you have plenty of room in here I, this is nice I like this I really do you know uh, all the seams in here are taped they uh, it looks good it looks like really good construction so yeah I can't wait to get some more snow and maybe this time the snow will stick and uh, got my stove and everything we can go hot tent camping once I make some new tent stakes so there is a myog coming up for tent stakes for frozen ground but uh, other than that pretty cool let's go back outside I wanted to give you a look here at the vent and that vent will close down kinda you got this bar in here with velcro and you can push that back and this will push down but there is a uh, there is a hoop in there that keeps it shape so that's pretty cool I wanted to give you a look at the perimeter how it's uh, staked out and you can see some of these tent stakes are pulling up like this one this was more at a 45 now it's almost standing straight up the ground's just too soft and these tent stakes are too short it is kind of cool that they got all this loop and this buckle here to adjust the only thing I'd be concerned about is this buckle uh, long term how will it handle the cold because I know some plastics when they get really cold they get brittle so I'd be watching for that to break and if it does break you could just put a, a line through this loop and redo everything you got these guy out points all around the tent so you got six stake out points for the main tent and six guy out points all the way around they make it really secure overall it's a pretty decent little tent I'm really shocked and for under a hundred bucks you know you don't have a floor but I did show you that video of a floor and I think it'll fit in here in fact let me go get that floor and we'll set it up in here another thing I wanted to point out about the tent is they give you a very generous rain gutter to go over the zipper here that's nice and then when you step over here you can roll up the door and you got a toggle here and a toggle down here so one here one up here and you can roll up the door and toggle it open like we have it open right now which is pretty cool got a really decent amount of floor space in there putting the stove right here so it comes up to that stove jack right there you could get somebody along that back wall 
can maybe get somebody along that back wall and somebody right here. So you could maybe fit two people. It'd be a little tight in there, but it's doable. Yeah, I'm digging this tent. And with that Hikeman floor, yeah, I'm liking that. So final thoughts on the fire hiking tent. It is a very good value for the cost. It's under $100. I think that's awesome for what you get. What I don't like is these tie outs, okay? And you got this buckle. One of the things I found out the hard way is you see how this is sewn here? It's designed so you can't pull that all the way through the buckle. So in other words, if you have your tent stake here and you want to tighten this more, it'll only let you tighten it to this point. You can't get it any tighter. I don't like that. I don't like these plastic buckles. I think eventually they're going to break and fail. I think this is a weak point. I think it'd be much better off to just run a cord through this strap here that's sewn to the tent and forget these silly things. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the tent when I was outside, and I apologize, is at the very peak of the tent, the very top up here, there is a loop. And that's designed where if you want to run a ridge line between two trees, uh, you could use that to support the top of the tent and not use the pole. And then stake it out and tie it out. Uh, let's see here. What else did I have an issue with? I had an issue with these tiny tent stakes. Okay? If you live in a region where the ground is soft, you might be able to get away with these. But right now, it was 40 degrees outside today. The ground was really soft. And I kept having a problem because I put them in the ground at an angle like this and they were pulling upright. The ground's really soft. So a short tent stake like this is a problem. Now, when I use a tarp and do a shelter, I generally use one of these Coolgan tent stakes. It's a nine inch tent stake. That's, you know, a big difference between that and this little one. These are really nice, but even with soft ground, these can be an issue. Not to mention the fact that with frozen ground, I just don't think these are going to cut it. I do not think they're going to cut it at all. And when winter finally decides to get here in Michigan and stay here, the ground gets frozen. And I just don't think these are going to do it. I think if you're serious about being in the outdoors when there's 10 inches of snow on the ground and the ground's frozen, uh, I think you better upgrade. That's my opinion. Everything else about the tent's pretty nice. The, uh, the tie-outs, the cord, is this same cord that they use in the bag. It's got the reflective stuff in it. That's nice. If you want to be seen. If you're into stealth camping or you just don't want to be seen, you might want to replace all that cord. Not a big deal. The bag is made out of the same material as the tent. It's suitable. The pole is suitable. You know, just change a few things for your personal preference, like me. I don't think I'm going to use these anymore. I think I'm going to run a cord in here and kind of go my own way on this. But other than that, I give it a solid thumbs up. I can't wait for a good amount of snow and you're going to see this tent again along with my tent stove and some other things and I'm going to go do some uh, hot tent camping. I've always wanted to. So until then, I will see you all later out in the frozen woods.